In this video, I want to show you how I use a tool called Elementor to create custom single product templates. Elementor is a drag and drop theme development tool that allows you to create pages, posts, and in the case I'm going to show you, single product designs uh, using a, a nice drag and drop interface. Uh, if you're not into coding up templates, this is an ideal tool to create a single product page and change the look and feel of it. So I've got Elementor installed as my and attached to my Astra theme. So what I'm going to do now is create a template. So if I go to the theme builder, so that's templates theme builder. And I got a single product. We don't have a template at the moment, so we're going to create a new one. So I can complete, create a completely custom single product page if I wanted to, or I can import an existing one from the Elementor site. Um, I think I like the look of this one, so let's use that one. So what that's doing is it's importing that pre-made template into my site and then it allows me to customize it. So the way Elementor works is it's a drag and drop interface. So perhaps I want the image to be on the right. I can just pick it up and drag it over there like that. And then I can drag it and then I can drop a series of widgets onto this page. So if I go to the widget section and do a search for product, You see, I have a series of widgets that can drag and drop. So product title, I've already got one installed there, but if I was to drag and drop it onto the page at the top, you can see I've got dazzling digital downloads as my title. Let's get rid of that one. See, so I can add and delete stuff as I like. So underneath that, we've got the star ratings. If anyone's left any reviews, and then we've got the single, uh, sorry, the short description. Looking at that, I'm not too keen on the font size and color. So let's change the typography. Let's go for my primary one. Um, perhaps I want a different color. Let's go for this little gray. No, don't like that. Let's go for a red color like that. You get the idea. I can go through and change all the fonts. Again, I don't like that font. Let's go for my primary font. Let's change the font size to 24. Let's add a new widget that we don't have installed. Uh, let's add some upsells. Uh, upsells? We already have upsells. Let's have some. Add a widget that we don't currently have. Let's have the wish list at the bottom. Like that. So I've created a template. I've customized it how I'd like it. Uh, let's just do a bit more, shall we? Let's change the typography of this to the primary. And the panel as well. Once we're happy with our design, we can check it across some different devices. So that's a tablet. I'm happy with that. Mobile device. Yeah, happy with that as well. Once I've built my design, I can then publish it and then I add a condition where I want to display my template. So we're going to display it on just products. Save that. Now if I view that product, there we have our new 
product, single product page design. Like that. We can do the same for the checkout. We can do the same for cart pages as well. Using Elementor, we just drop our design into those specific pages. If you need help building your WooCommerce store, get in touch. Go to neilmatthews.com and click on that work with me button and I'll send you a no obligation quote.